now a new kind of content creator is emerging on YouTube, so-called virtual YouTubers, are people who use 3D character models to engage with their audience anonymously via video sharing. These VTubers, as they're called, are becoming more and more popular, with some reportedly earning millions. Our reporter, Mars Emanuel, spoke to two of them using their online personas. Hello, you're watching the BBC. Meet Veve and Apricot, two British women aged 22 and 23 who work as online content creators and use animated avatars to replace their identity. She didn't understand what I was doing at first, and she was definitely not very happy about me leaving university to pursue my career online. I took a year off of university, and that's when my career blew up. With a host of colourful characters, accessibility and anonymity can play a key part in streamers deciding to take the digital plunge. For Vey, it was after she contracted a viral infection which ruptured her spleen and left her bedroom for six months that she decided to stream online. VTubers are now amongst the highest earning content creators, with some receiving up to around £2 million in the last year and a half. And although VTubers, like many other content creators, can be subject to abusive and sometimes sexist comments. Vebe and Apricot say their careers have allowed them to learn important life skills. I grew out of my social anxiety through VTubing. I used to be really shy. Uh, I would be afraid to speak during my English classes. If a kid has a dream of their own or like a goal in mind, I think everyone should try and pursue that. Miles Emanuel, BBC News. Really freaky. Business coming up.